All right, boys. That's right. The bus is on Friday. It is Friday, and we are two weeks after Friday the 13th. And as Andy pointed out last night, two weeks before Horror Fest 2024. 21 nights to rock begins. So we are right smack dab in the middle of some horror. Still in the season of end of summer, beginning of fall, movie watching. Hey, a daycare van. <laughs> How'd I miss those? Dallas Cowboys with a big win last night. Taking care of the Giants and evening things out in the NFC East, just like I said they would. Last night's feature presentation, Super Christian 2, 1986, starring John Schmidt, Chuck Bolt, Ned York, and some others. So this film also directed by John Schmidt. I don't think I've talked about the, I've, I've talked at length about the Cristiano Brothers film catalog lately, especially as far as the short Christian film greats. There's the Edward T. McDougall catalog, which includes Edward T. McDougall. Um, Against All Hope, 1982, which I did a full review of back in back in April. First film with Michael Madsen, one of my favorite movies ever. Uh, Edward T. McDougall also did Never Ashamed, 1983. I've seen at least half a dozen, dozen times. He did Gold Through the Fire, 1987. That's a full length. Uh, go in Geronimo, 1990. I feel like I've looked at Geronimo before, but didn't like it. But Gold to the Fire and Geronimo are a couple of films that you, I see a lot on like the posters and the the little ad, the advertisements for Christian films. But I've never seen Gold to the Fire, full length film. Uh, he also did The First Stone, 1993, which is a that's a good one. It's about an hour long. I've seen that one time, it was pretty good. I gotta see it again. Alright, you got the William Mingo catalog. That's an underrated catalog. He did Zack 1983. I love that movie. It's about an hour long. Uh, Standing Alone 1980. Consider It All Joy 1986. I don't think the latter two of those are available to watch online, but I do want to see those. Especially Standing Alone 1980. Right. But the John Schmidt catalog includes Super Christian 1980, Super Christian 2 1986, uh, Weight of the World, that's W A I T of the World 1985, uh, full length film. I uh, don't know if this one's available, but I want to see this one. Uh, Greatest Story Never Told 1983. Uh, the Crossing, 1994. That's one I've seen many, many times. About a 30-minute film. Um, John Muir, I think, had his hand in this one too. Like maybe produced it. But John Schmidt, The Crossing, 1994. He gets, he grabs a couple of the Cristiano actors for this one. David A. R. White and Kevin Downs. I really like this movie. 1994. Probably Schmidt's best film. And then the other one that John Schmidt directed, produced, is one that is like my holy grail of films. It's called Kevin Can Wait, 1983. This used to be available on YouTube just for free. I saw it about three or four times since then. It has disappeared from all mediums. It is, it is nowhere to be found. The closest thing I saw was the VHS for sale. It was going for like 50 bucks. 
this thing i don't know why it's not available anymore online kevin can wait 1983 it's about 45 minutes i think and i love this film and I'm, it's killing me i gotta see it again if anyone can find this for me please let me know but last night's feature presentation super christian 2 1986 this is a good sequel this is the second time i've seen this the original film super christian 1980 is a lot of fun clocks in about 30 minutes and it's uh john schmidt plays clark and he's a uh I think he's like a, a young college age kid living at home has a little job and he's a church goer he wears this uh he puts on this facade when he goes to church he's uh he gives money he is, you know uh participates a lot in his class in his sunday school class he wears this white suit <laughs> this goofy white suit um, you know, does all the right things, talks to the pastor and stuff, but he's like, he's kind of hurting on the inside and he's uh, trying to mask some of his, some of his uh, insecurities and stuff. And this other guy sees him named, uh, played by Chuck Bolt, and notices it because he went through the same thing years ago. Chuck Bolt plays this older, kind of older guy, and he kind of, I guess like ministers to John Schmidt's character, like comes to his house with this creepy fan. That's the best part. Like picks him up, takes him to the church, gives him like a walk through, and then kind of says, "I understand that what you're going through. I see the same, the same things in you." And so then the guy, you know, kind of decides to make a change, throws away his outfit and decides to be himself that's how the movie ends I mean, this is just a great movie uh, there's a lot of eat snacks there's a lot of snacks in this film but super christian 2 is pretty cool it's uh 32 minutes long so it stars the same two main people and this time they the beginning of it is pretty interesting for a sequel it shows them as the actors watching clips of super christian and kind of goofing on it a little bit and then they say I think it sets up a sequel and then they go then they go into the movie so like they're then they're being their characters so it's kind of an interesting way to start a sequel so it's good so now it's they're reaching out to people in their church it's the same church I think it's called like first church or something so they're now like taking the same theme but like reaching out to people who are others who are dealing with that like putting on the happy facade in church and they have this idea to put put on their uniforms of how they used to be like Clark puts on his uniform of um, of the super super Christian and then the other guy Chuck Bolt puts on his uniform of the lone Christian he brings a horse to the church so it's weird like uh, Chuck Bolt's character the older guy teaches like a I think like a couples class and then Clark Kent's character teaches a uh, like a youth class and they're trying to you know, tell tell all the kid all the people that they teach you know like about their past and how they hid their sin and their hurts and stuff and the whole thing is like you know you gotta let go and so it's like more effective than i think would be in reality but uh, it's super, yeah it's a good one super christian 2 1986 but yeah this is a good one i watched it i thought that cop there um got video of me swiping a corn dog from the lounge but this is the second time I've watched it I liked it a lot better the second time definitely will you know, check it out again this sounds like a whiteboard series to go through all these different films in the short Christian films catalog but I have to research a couple of the ones I mentioned in this video for tonight's future presentation probably go back to the well something similar to this 
Maybe go with Zack, 1983. I like that movie. Zack. William Mingo catalog. It is 80 Nation Day. We are two weeks away from Horror Fest. I can't believe it. I'm going to stick with these drama films. And I feel like if there's a lot left over, carry it into like November. Take them to debrief from horror movies. One, it's a good idea to do, but oh man, I haven't heard from Andy today. I think he was in the well, wordy room or something today, or politics. We're getting we're getting some of it here, and I think he's gonna be all right. I think he's gonna. I think he's. I think Andy's gonna make it through this BS hurricane. The pleasure of Trudy tonight and to watch his Bulldogs take on the Crimson Side tomorrow. I'll see you guys. Tonight and maybe tomorrow. We got something big coming tomorrow, baby. Maybe a little Rio, dude.